everybody, it's Stephen and Walter here from lovely Oz, and it is March the, what is it, 30th. 30. It's Easter weekend, more about that soon, we made a mistake, and it is Saturday, April the 30th, April, May, it's March, it's March, isn't it? See, you go on a trip, you lose all track of time, so yeah, it is March the 30th. So, anyways, we are now in, where are we? Port Macquarie. Port, I don't know. I, I don't know if we're spelling it. it right or saying it right, but we're Port Macquarie. Macquarie. I don't know. It's hard for me to say it, no matter what way. You're, it is. Everything is hard for you to say. This looks like a split screen. But yeah. Yeah. Walter's actually in another room. <laughs> it does. It looks like a split screen. Anyways, it is not. What's in our glasses? Water at the moment, because we just came back from a long, leisurely walk along. What do they call that? The coastal. Coastal walk. Coastal Walk, which takes us from basically our hotel sort of at the end of the walk or the beginning of the walk, how do you want to look at it, and all up the way to the point of land, and we walk back. And we do have a video of what we saw along there, some interesting things as well. But let's talk about this morning. Yeah, we got up. That was a, uh, There was pain. <laughs> oh, God. We've been walking a lot, so. Yeah, getting up out of bed and then trying to loosen up everything, not an easy task. It's when you really start to feel old, I'm telling you. And yes, I got more color today, and yes, I'm going to be a tomato. So yeah, I- we actually did put some sunscreen we on. We did put today. sunscreen on. I always go red in the sun. It'll eventually fade out, darken a little bit, but I'll never get dark. Walter gets dark. Well, I yeah. don't know. I don't have as much well, tan, not so melanin much in my skin as I used but to. But when you were younger, you when were. When I was a kid. Just a little black boy. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, we got up this morning. And uh, before we headed out, we went down and had brekkie um, in the hotel because we paid for it. And, well, it was a little disappointing in given how much it cost. Uh, actually, that hotel was very disappointing. I mean, it wasn't absolutely horrible. Uh, we paid a premium price for it. We were told we got an upgrade. I don't know what the upgrade from what. I'd hate to see what it would have been if we hadn't gotten an upgrade. Um, and we had breakfast, as I said, and it wasn't anything to write home about. No, it was sort of, uh, it's like the free breakfast that you get at... Uh, Holiday Inn or where? Uh, yeah, the, uh, what do you call it? Um, What's the holiday? Holiday Inn Express. Oh, Holiday Inn Express, kind of a thing. Yeah. I mean, you could order if there was something you wanted special. Um, like they had scrambled eggs, bacon, uh, baked beans, grilled tomatoes. Sausages. Sausages. Bacon, did you say bacon? Did I say bacon? Bacon. Um, that kind of thing. I'm not a big fan of scrambled eggs. It's okay, I can eat scrambled eggs. I don't hate them, but... Um, I thought, well, the guy says I could order anything the chef would make it for me. So I said, can I have a cheese omelet, please? So yes, I said, sure. So he made it, they had them make me a cheese omelet. That omelet had absolutely no taste to it. And it was slightly burnt as well. So obviously omelets aren't something that people order a lot there, I guess. Um, I did have uh, some cro a croissant. Uh, you had what? Raisin toast? Yeah, I had raisin toast and I had uh, scrambled eggs and bacon and uh, one of those um, preformed hash brownie type patties. Yeah, I looked at those and passed those over. And um, they weren't hard as a rock, which is okay. Yeah. And uh, what do you say? Raisin toast. That's it, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. They did have fruit there. They did have some yogurt as well. well. I didn't see the fruit. Yeah, it was in a glass case. Someone had to get it out for you. Um, no one ever seemed to be standing over there at the time. Oh, and they had a big elaborate coffee maker that made um, espresso, or you could have a long black. Do with that what you will. Um, so we had a couple of long blacks. Uh, the coffee was really Really, and it ground the coffee, you know, and you know yeah, how but it was really are. bitter. It was really bitter. I don't know what kind of coffee it was. Cheap kind. Yeah, very cheap kind uh, with it. Um, but yeah, it was not a really thrilling brekkie. Oh, and the baked beans, I love baked beans. You know that. Those of you that have been on Step Sewing with Stephanie Stephen or Pop Up Sew Day, you know I love baked beans. If Walter's not around, I eat a whole can. Um, I do make my own baked beans too, I have in the past. 
Uh, but I just usually eat Heinz, you know, that come in a can, in a tomato sauce. I don't know what these were. Were they like the English style baked beans? Like which style? English style baked beans. Well, what are English style? Baked? I don't know. They're little, aren't they a little different than uh, American ones? Or Canadian Might ones? be a little different. I don't know, but you know, baked beans. At least Canadian baked beans. If you're to make them from scratch, it takes. They're not a diet food. Okay, you mix them with brown sugar. The beans. Well, well was the stuff that you had uh, not sugary? No. Okay, well, English baked beans are like that. Mm. It's been so long since I had English, I can't remember. But anyways, they were just black. There was no, yeah, that's how no, English Yeah, they were just there. no flavor to them, nothing. Uh, had to add a little pepper and salt to them. And the salt was a little hard to get out of the shaker. It had been in there for a while, I think. Moisture got into it. But whatever. Yeah, are we complaining about it? Yeah, we are. Because... We paid a fair bit for it. We paid a fair bit for it. You have a certain expectation. We weren't expecting to eat at the Ritz. All right, but it was a bit of a letdown. I mean, it was edible. That's all I'll say about it. It was edible. But then so's, you know, cow and so is McDonald's. Yeah, so McDonald's is edible too. Mackers, as they call it here. So, you know, whatever. That started the day off. Uh, we got out of the place, finally. Um, and uh, off we came, drove to here. Now, we were actually driving to the Billabong. Yeah, Billabong. We're probably saying it wrong. Uh, zoo. Yeah. Because there you can feed kangaroos. And you know that's what I want to do. So we get there. It was a couple hours drive, uh, basically. It's on our way to where we are right now. And um, yeah, oh, everybody and their dog. To the point there, their parking lot was overflowing on everybody's parking lot on the side of the street. And uh, we, if we wanted to go in there, we would have, there's only a few more spaces that you could park on the side of the street. Well, they weren't even spaces. No. It was the roadway into the place. We, yeah. couldn't, we didn't even see what the place looked like no. because the cars were so lined up. It was just a sea of cars. So and I can imagine what it would have been yeah. like inside. Not only that. It would have been a zoo. 50 million <laughs> kids and stuff like that. And we decided, no, it's too busy. We don't want yeah, to be there. Yeah, we decided that wasn't what we want to do today. There's other opportunities we'll have to go to someplace. But see, yeah. here's the whole problem. We did not think about the fact that this is Easter weekend. And and the other thing was is that Easter weekend here means something different than Easter weekend yeah. does at home. Uh, Easter weekend uh, here is, is supposedly... Um, a real big holiday for people to go away. It's kind of like, someone told us, it's kind of like our Labor Day weekend. You know, it's kind of the end of the summer bash as you move into... What, what they call winter. What they call winter. Well, fall, actually. Well, actually, we're fall right now. Yeah, we're fall right now. But anyway, so, yeah, they're all out and about. We never thought about that. So well, was, actually, after I bought, I booked the flight, I said, hmm, I just realized that the next weekend is Easter weekend. Is that going to be a problem? Well, we said, I said, I don't think so, because I was thinking about it more on the scale of what happens with us. Yeah, so it goes to prove to you that uh, different countries do things yeah. differently. So if you're planning a trip to Australia and you don't like crowds and you don't want to pay higher prices for things, because yes, prices in restaurants... Uh, a lot of them have surcharges that they put on whatever you're ordering, um, and the hotels do as well. So don't come on a major holiday uh, to Australia. So anyways, we're in the thick of it. We get here, and uh, we come into the hotel we're in right now, and we looked at it from the outside and went, well... Yeah, well, I wasn't sure when I booked it, but there was only so many hotels here. Uh, that you could book and it and actually um, I'm not I, I'm not 100% sure on reviews but uh, there were like tons of reviews that said this place was okay so um, well it turns out uh, first impressions in this case uh, were not the impressions you should have because we got into the room the room is small um, it's clean it's a little stark in its decor I mean, the hotel obviously looks like 
it has been around for a long time, mm -hmm. but they've renovated it quite a bit, so. And I did take a video and show you what it looked like, and in that video, you will find out how suddenly my estimation of this place went much higher because what I was complaining about at the last two hotels, not having any outlets to su support USB devices that you need to charge, this one has an abundance. It has them over by the bed, on the bedside tables, on either side of the bed, two USBs in both cases, plus an outlet that you can get at if you need to plug in a power source as well. There's one in the wall here in this little area we're sitting in, just sort of like a kitchenette kind of a thing. Um, there's a fridge you can't see over yeah, behind it, that's in the video. two-seater table here. Yeah, that's what we're sitting at right now. At. And uh, there's even a little microwave in here. And so I was impressed with the number of electronic outlets or electronic outlets, you know, available. That, that put this place right up in my estimation. And not only that, I didn't think, we came in through the back door. The, the door to get into this room, we're on the second level, they call it the first floor. Um, yeah, because there's parking underneath. Yeah, there's so. parking underneath. But it looks like basically prisons, rows of prison cell doors. It's, you know, like a, your old motel stuff. Yeah, with the there, one yeah. continuous, you know, balcony kind of a thing. I thought, well, whatever. Well, no, that's the back. The front is totally different. And there's a, a video clip on that showing you that difference. And we do have a private balcony it's small it's, it's very, very tiny small. but it's fine but it's fine for us we it's, tend to be uh, sitting out there later there's two chairs and a little table mm -hmm. and uh it'll be and we can see the water from our balcony and stuff like that so um it looks like yeah it'll be nice to it'll sit be out there that we bought some snackies because we did get into a restaurant uh for lunch uh, of course once again we time things so well it's lunch time 12 12 so every place is just packed and you know when you're in some place you've never been before you don't know where to go but there was a place down on the waterfront huge place called the beach house and it seemed to be very very popular and we checked out their menu and there was stuff on there that looked edible uh with it so we first went there and the girl they did have somebody seating people, which was kind of nice, because that's not always the way it's done here in Australia. A lot of times in some places in Australia, you just walk in, if there's a table available, you sit down at it, and then you go up to the bar area and you order your drinks, you order your food, and they bring it out to you or whatever. Um, but here, there was somebody sitting seating you, and she looked all over the place, and she said, if I can find something inside, is that okay? And at that point, we said, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, with it, she came out. She says, "I'm sorry." She says, "There is nothing." And we said, "Okay, fine." So we just decided we'd go off and wander around a little bit more, and we did. And we didn't see any plate. We checked out a couple of other places. Had a little conversation with a girl in a coffee shop who told me they had the best chicken salad of anywhere. And I so <laughs> I played with her. I said, "So you're telling me this is the best chicken salad of anywhere in here? So if I order the chicken salad and I don't like it," What are you going to do for me? You going to give me back my money? But, well, uh, yeah, no, I says, okay, fine. But we almost ate there because I was curious to try the chicken salad. Um, but they had one thing lacking. They didn't have beer or any kind of. And we kind of wanted beer. beer so. And we wanted beer. So we didn't go there. Looked at another couple of places where it wasn't impressed. There was one place they were lined up down the street to get in. It was a takeaway place. Uh, it was for fish and chips. Supposedly the best fish and chips in uh, Port... Um, Macquarie. Macquarie. Uh, Macquarie. Say that five times fast. Macquarie. I have trouble with think it. Think of quarry with a mechanic. Yeah, I can try to think that and then I grow up draw a blank. But um, I'm not big into fish and chips because they weren't using halibut, of course. Uh, there was something. Were they using that one? No, there? actually, they were. I saw. I briefly looked when I walked by. They looked like they had uh, cod as one of the options. Oh, well, mm -hmm. um, well, I don't like fish, okay, at all. And I will eat fish and chips, but it has to be halibut, um, because. But halibut is really something that's Canadian. Yeah, apparently, uh, I guess it is. But where only because see, halibut doesn't taste fishy. Yeah. Now some people say, well, if you're not going to eat it for tastes like fish, then what's the point of having it? You're probably right. 
<laughs> but that's just me. So anyways, we decided we'd wander back. And I said to Walter, well, there doesn't seem to be this, this seems to be the spot to be this uh, place. What was it called? Uh, something beach on the rock. No. Yeah. On the rocks or something. No, or beach. Uh, no, something. How, boat. Beach house on the rocks. No, there was no rocks. It was. It was Beach House Hotel. It, that's beach House, it. that was it. It beach was just house called the Hotel. Beach House. Yeah. That was it, the restaurant. Okay, that was hard. Um, so anyways, I said, if they don't have any place when we get there, then people will leave eventually. Let's just say we'll wait. And, you know, but the girl came and she said, we said hi to her again, same one, and said, yeah, if, if table for two, but if you don't have anything available right now, we'll just wait for the first one that comes available with that. She says, well, I'll go inside again and see if the same thing there. Well, she did come out and she says, there is one inside, it's near the bar area. And she's like, I can show it to you. So we went in and saw, yeah, well, okay, that'll do, it's fine. Um, it was a high top. So uh, we got ourselves situated there and figured out what we wanted. And Walter goes up to the bar to um, order the beers and order our food and everything. And uh, she comes back to me while Walter's waiting to do all of that. She comes back to me and she says, I've got a table, I just came available outside. Do you want that? And I said, sure. So uh, she took me out there and I flagged at Walter and said, okay, we're going to another table over there. And uh, yeah, so that was nice. That was, I thought that was really nice of her. She didn't have to bother with us again, you know. Um, and we didn't, weren't complaining about the table she found for us originally or anything. Said, so, yeah, sure, this is fine. Um, but meanwhile, I'm ordering, and I've just ordered, I told the girl where we were sitting. And then I said, oh, great. I don't know where we're sitting. <laughs> but the girl looked over and looked, and she says, I know, I know where it is. Don't worry. How did she spot me? She go, the guy with the loud shirt? Yeah. Because nobody here is wearing loud shirts. Believe me, I stand out like a sore thumb. What is it? I mentioned this before. What is it with Australians? Do you not like color? I don't get it. But uh, anyways, so yeah, so we I ordered the chicken Caesar salad. Walter ordered the fish and chips to try it. It had what kind of fish was that? Baron Muti or Bar Baron Muti or Baron Monday, I think. Baron Monday. Okay. And I guess it's a really cheap fish, but anyway. <laughs> no, I guess it's uh, what the bars here seem to serve for fish and yeah. chips. Yeah. And if I give it a try, and I think I had it last time in Australia, and I couldn't remember whether I liked it or not. And um, I probably didn't like it. <laughs> anyway, it came, it was, uh, it was okay, but it was a little, I, it was a little on the fishy side. I could smell and it. I, and I know Steve would know. Would know oh, no, I could it. smell it. And if I can smell fish, it's like in the grocery store, if they have a seafood section, and I can smell it, I run. Really it wasn't wide. like gross fishy but it was uh it was definitely a little bit a little ten a tiny bit fishy it was a big piece yeah it was a big piece i did find one one oh, what do you call it bone. Um, bone in it um which i don't like in fish no. and uh but other than that it, i ate all of it it was fine but i don't think i would order it again no. my chicken caesar salad yeah um well, you have to, you have to understand how much we paid for these things. Um, it was what twenty six dollars for the fish and chips. Yeah. And it was thirty two dollars for the chicken Caesar salad because the Caesar salad was twenty six. If you and for six dollars more, you could add chicken, and I decided I want chicken on it. Well, see, and no, and actually, it was a little more than that. It was ten percent more. Well, I was going to say because it was a holiday, so we so had, they had to surcharge, right? So we had to pay ten percent more. Now, mind you, that's Australian dollars, and that basically includes all your tax and your tip, yeah. too. So, so I mean, it's still a little bit more than that home, but uh, but actually, for the quality of the food, I thought it was overpriced. Yeah, yeah, it was. Well, you know, it's one of those kind of places. It's sort of roadhousey. It's on the beach. It's location, location, location. People are going to come no matter what because of the seating the way you're positioned next to the ocean. So yeah, they can charge whatever they want. Yeah, and, the, and the French fries weren't fresh cut or anything like that. They were, they were uh, just frozen fries. And believe me, Walter is a connoisseur of French fries. He enjoys his fresh cut 
fries and he can smell a frozen french fry three miles away from but anyway but it was all right it, 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 I mean, it wasn't so gross I couldn't eat it or anything. No. Like and the same with the salad. It was, it was fine. It just lacked taste. Yeah. And the chicken was a bit dried out, too. Obviously, they don't brine their chicken. Um, but, yeah, it, it just... We, so, you know, we were wondering if and maybe some of the Australians can inform us. Do Australians not like things that are too heavily spiced or spicy or um because everything we have eaten so far even it, something that says it's spicy isn't yeah, spicy it isn't and everything tastes very hey just make this sound insulting i don't mean it to be insulting because every country has its thing right uh, it's just very bland uh, i so i don't know maybe it's just what we've ordered and where we've ordered it maybe that's the problem but we have yet to have on this trip what I would call a fantastic meal. Uh, well, well the night sure. we went to the Italian place and the, the pizza wasn't bad that of that yeah. that place we went with my nephew and his partner that was okay. Actually, the 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 uh, salami or whatever it was supposed to be spicy salami. Yeah. It was really spicy. Was it? Yeah. Okay, so, you know, maybe it's just the luck maybe of the draw. Maybe it's just where we pecked to eat or know. something. I don't know. Luck of the draw. I mean, it's not horrible or anything I mean, like that. I mean, that chicken part of my head the other day wasn't too bad either. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Yeah, so, so yeah, whatever. So, we live, we learn. We'll try more food. Um, yeah, so we had lunch there, and we had a couple of beers and sat in there. It was kind of a nice setting. It was very, very busy. Um lots of families and that there this is a major major vacation spot for sure so uh then we decided to what did we do after that oh we we're going to check into the hotel so we figured well it's now past the time uh to, for checking in because we tried to check in when we first got here and they weren't taking check-ins until two o'clock because they were the guy said they were understaffed a little bit so we said okay fine no problem we asked him is it okay we're parked in your parking lot and he said oh yeah that's fine not a problem so anyways, uh, we came back and we were able to check in and then you heard about the room and everything like that. So then we went out and uh, decided to explore the streets of Port Macquarie. And uh, a lot of places close at about four o'clock or 4.30, but we came into the back entrance. We wanted to go to the grocery store. Well, actually when we arrived here, there was like a little flea market or oh, something yeah. like that. And when we got out of the restaurant, we thought, well, we go check out the flea market -y type thing. And by then, it was about, what, 2.30 or yeah, something Yeah, it was, all, like it was about just a little and after 2.00. And they had just started, uh, they, uh, most of it was, it was gone. gone. It was packed and up. they were packing it up to leave. So, obviously, we couldn't do that. I'm wondering now that we've said that, I wonder if that's something they have every Saturday. Mm -hmm. like a farmer's market or mm -hmm. craft thing. And because I know the ones in our area that they have it every Saturday, they fold up at noon mm -hmm. and, and leave. So maybe that's the same thing with this. Maybe this wasn't a special event for the weekend. Maybe they do it every weekend. Yeah. And I did notice, I don't know if you did, but up in that area where they had them all set up, there are permanent suspended lighting system all the oh, way around okay. there. So I have a feeling that's a special events area. Uh, for things uh, there on a regular basis. Um, so we missed out on that, but no big deal. So we went and checked out, you know, just walked the streets. I've got that on video as well. And we went into this grocery store and found out, we've been going through the back doors a lot today. We went through the back door of this grocery store. We didn't realize it was attached to a mall that was there, a big mall actually. Um, so we got a few things uh, in there for tonight. Um, because we're just going to nibble because we had a big lunch and that's usually what we do on a trip. We'll actually usually have a substantial lunch and then most time we don't necessarily go out for dinner or we'll have uh, snackies or whatever, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, we picked up a few things there, walked through the mall um, and walked back here, dumped our stuff off and decided to do the coastal walk. It's called Coastal Walk, Coastal yeah, Walk. Yeah, Coastal Walk. Coastal Walk. And I have that all in the video you're about to see. And that was well. kind of interesting. And that was interesting. There's a whole bunch of, like, 
little cottages. Um, all look the same. They all look the same. But they, I'm, I think that probably are rental units that where people come rent those for these kind of weekends or whatever, or in the, the vacation season. And they're kind of right on the, the water, not like on a beach area, there's um, a breakwater all the way around. Yeah, there. I mean, there, further down there's a beach area that you can go to. Yeah. So, um, anyways, it was nice little seeing all these things. And there's trailers too. People have trailers and campers. It's a big... It, we saw a sign that says it's basically run by the uh, Australian Park System or something like that. So, I don't know if people own any of those. It didn't look like it because they were too uniform in color and in construction in that. So I think they're probably something people rent from the Australian Parks and Recreation or whatever they call it here. Um, lots of people down that area, lots and lots. And uh, then we walk back and we're here and we're doing this now. So, um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to tell you. So I guess uh, tomorrow we'll talk, uh, where are we going tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to Coffs Harbor. It's about, uh... 160 kilometers north of us right now, so that's not too long. It's less than a two-hour drive. Um, and it's um, another harbor-type place. Uh, uh, we've got um, a motel there. Um, there's a big banana plantation. You can go through tours at the banana plantation. So, I mean, I figure that even if uh, we can't get into the banana plantation tomorrow, we could stop there on our way out of uh, yeah. Coffs Harbor and uh, and visit it in the morning as well. So depending yeah. on what time they're open. So yeah, that's the plans for tomorrow. So we'll see you then. And now I'm going to put in all the video video clips that we made today. So we're on the road again. We had this lovely included breath. Well, it wasn't included. We paid for the breakfast in this that Novotel we're in. Not too impressive. Uh, not for what it cost us. I think it cost, well, Walter can't remember whether it was $20 or $30 a piece uh, for it. But either way, would have been better, better off going off to Mackers uh, for that. I mean, well, it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. Yeah, their dining rooms kind of sucked in the place, too. I wouldn't recommend that place. No, we don't recommend that Novotel. It's dated. It's expensive. Uh, you're not really getting your money's worth. Well, I think the only reason you end up having money is that our proximity to the beach. Yeah, probably. So. So I only chose it because I thought it was a good location for us to walk around and sightsee, which it actually was. I thought. Well, yeah, we were sort of centrally located, so I guess that's what we were paying for yeah. with it. But uh, anyways, now I noticed that this morning there was a couple of comments about um, Turkish Delight. And people are being very helpful with suggestions. Someone suggested there's a place outside of Brisbane, a little town or something. We might consider it. Yeah, I guess it's got other things besides Turkish Delight. Um, someone suggested I buy it from Amazon. Well, I did once and it was horrible. Nobody seems to know how to make original Turkish Delight. Well, first of all, I think original Turkish Delight has to be bought fresh. It has to be freshly made. A lot of the commercial stuff is made to be preserved, and it uses a gelatin instead of the original manufacturer of Turkish Delight. And it, uh, it tends not to uh, be as um, melt-in-your-mouth type yeah. of thing. Because that's the one thing about Turkish Delight. It does. As soon as you put it in your mouth, it just sort of dissolves. It, it's very light and it's very fragrant. Uh, so because it's of the very rose hard water. to find it nowadays that's made fresh. Yeah. I'm still on the hunt for it, though. But you anyways, can buy lots of box stuff. But the box stuff is preserved stuff and it doesn't taste the same. I even back at home bought some from the Dutch bakery that said it came from the Middle East. It actually came from Turkey. And um, no, it was horrible too. Oh, it was just like clumps of gooey jello is what it what it is. Very firm, very sticky, very solid jello. But anyways, thanks for the suggestions. I'll continue my search. It's a lifelong passion. Everybody needs a hobby, right? So where are we going today? Well, we're heading up to Port, I can't say it, 
What is it? Macquarie. 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 Like your quarry with a Mac. Okay, Macquarie. Anyways, and on the way there, there is a animal sanctuary where you can feed the kangaroos. So, Billabong, I think is how. Probably not yeah, saying it right. Billabong uh, Zoo. We're going to try that one out. Yeah, we're going to try that one out and see. It's not particularly cheap, although they have a seniors discount. I looked it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, $45 each for seniors. But... I thought I said it was $30 to $43, but I don't know. Well, it was kind of debated because when I looked it up online, it said it was $46 a person. Then I when I clicked on uh, tickets or whatever, it said it was $50 for adults, but then it said senior citizens $45. Oh, okay. So I don't know. It's anybody's guess. Maybe they have a big wheel and just spin it and whatever it stops at, that's the price you pay. I don't know. But we get to see fluffy kangaroos. So I'll pay any price to feed a kangaroo. All right, we'll check in a little bit later when we get going. We're about 200 kilometers away from our destination right now. So still on the road to uh, Port Macquarie and to the Billabong Zoo. But uh, it's very picturesque here gives you a good uh, idea of what the terrain looks like here in this part of northeastern Australia. I think it's northeastern, isn't it? Northeastern of... Well, uh, uh, mid-eastern. Mid-eastern. Okay, well, whatever. I was thinking in terms of its location to Sydney. Yeah, well, it's north of Sydney. But yeah. I would consider Cairns northeastern. <laughs> well, fine. I don't know. Whatever. There, there's a sign. But anyways, yes, this is a nice day as you can see. It's always a nice day when we come to visit somebody's country. Hey, we hire out. Pay for our expenses to come to your country and we'll bring sunshine. What a bargoon. to try and uh, go the scenic route along the coast, so. But this is fairly scenic, too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're it's on a different ter uh, ter different terrain than what we're used to. Well, this is the Billabong Zoo. However, you can see in the distance all the cars parked outside of where their parking lot is. It means this place is a zoo right now of people. And it's probably because we didn't think about it. This is the long weekend. So what better time to go to the zoo? So we're not going. I'll feed the kangaroo somewhere else because this is not worth the path here. And we just stopped a little bit here to get our bearings to next part of our little journey, which is only 20 minutes away to where we're staying in uh, Port Macquarie. And Walter needs to stretch as he steps in a mud puddle. <laughs> Duh. But anyways, yeah. A little bit of a disappointment, but in some ways not surprising because it is a long weekend here. But there's other places along the way. Not worried about it. Okay, so we're in Port McCurdy and had no idea how busy this place is. It's just wall-to-wall -wall people. No wonder the zoo was packed. But you see, this is a long weekend, and that is not something we took into consideration when we were planning this trip. So let it be known, do not come to Australia when it's the Easter weekend or any major holiday, because you will not be able to do anything. It will be a sea of people. But we're in here right now, the beach house, having lunch. This was not easy to get a table. In fact, we couldn't get a table out in the patio, but that's okay. It's pretty hot out there. We got one indoors. And Walter's up ordering right now for us the beer you can see them back there um very very busy place but every place here is very busy the other thing is we can't sign into our hotel check into our hotel until for another hour however we were able to park in their parking lot which is a good thing because i think parking here is at a premium 
and you take your life in your own hands trying to cross the street because there's cars coming out of every which way so you could get run over very busy but very picturesque and i'll show you more later on okay the hostess just came to us and said she had a table outside which is really nice of her she got us and brought us out to this table which is much nicer out here than where we were well check with them walter thinks she they plugged in our order wrong and doubled it from what we ordered because uh, it seemed a little bit high for what they were charging, which I don't know if it was or not. It's 32, 32, depending on what the beers cost. And this is a premium place, but he's going and he's checking again. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, here's our first look at the hotel here in Port Macquarie. And when I walked in the door, I went, oh, my God, this reminds me of our poverty-stricken past. Um, but on closer inspection, this has something that none of the hotel rooms we've stayed in so far had. First of all, look, outlet, outlet, outlets. Lots of outlets that are all accessible. But even more so, look over here. Look, look what they've got. Two USB ports and outlets accessible next to the bed yes what i said in the last video about that sides. and bonus it's on both sides of the bed yes now just when you thought i mean it's small you have an extra bed for you know whatever that will now become couch um but we actually have a patio a little one it's tiny but it is a patio and it's sort of looking out in the parking lot, but it does look out to the water as well. So that is a bonus as well. Now, how much does this room cost us? It's 270 And it's because I think it's more money because of the long weekends. So. Yeah. But okay, they're in my good books at the it's moment. It's called Mid-Pacific. Mid-Pacific. I mean, it's a little bit, you know, no frills, no and thrills. It includes parking. It includes parking. Yeah, you don't have to pay for parking. And the parking is very conveniently located. And looks like we have lots of cupboard space. Oh, we have an iron and ironing board. Not that we'll use them, but that's okay. So we do have a closet with a mirror. Yeah, I'm... Has a fridge and a microwave. Yeah, I can live with this. I can live with this. We're here only one night. But, you know, is that, and how's the bathroom look? It was kind of dated. Uh, except, where's the shower? Here, hang on. We have a shower. Okay. It's a bit dated. A bit dated, but it looks clean. Yeah. And yeah, a little tiny in here. Okay. I'm trapped. I can't get out. And well, it's not a huge TV, but it's TV. It's a little off center, but will it? Oh, it's on a rack so you can put it to where you want it. Okay. It will do. It will do. I'm excited about the outlets. I know, it's amazing what things excite me, but outlets excite me. So, we are in the downtown section, just steps away from where we're staying. And uh, a lot of little restaurants, cafes, and uh, I don't know, little gitchy stores and things like that. Walter's looking at something. Port McGurry Best Steaks is right here. It's the Hog's Breath. Cafe. Appetizing name, really. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just exploring to see what we can see. I don't know if the crowds have eased off. It looks like they have a little bit from when we were here er earlier when we went to look for something to eat. Um, there was that mall that I showed you just a glimpse of but uh, we were gonna explore it, but they've all folded that all up by now. It's gone. So we missed out on that, I guess. Uh, yeah, probably not. And uh, yeah, more later.
Bob is telling me to run. I'm running, I'm running. I'm trying to keep up on him. He's a speed demon. Oh my god. Are we gonna make this? Seeing how tomorrow is Easter Sunday, I thought I'd take a picture of this church, which I'm pretty sure is Catholic as well, but it is kind of a neat looking church. And you saw it in the uh, set of videos just a second ago in the distance. And here it is in full flesh. Do you want to buy want to buy a house in this area? We'll take a look at the prices. 650000 700000 By our standards in Ontario, Canada, that's cheap. And that's got three bed, one bath, two car. Three bed, two bath, two car is from 830000 to 870000 that's a waterfront apartment. Waterfront apartment for 700, 750. Two bed, one bath, one car. Yeah, there's one here. It's 930 to 970. That has a four bed, two bath, two car. That would be well over a million dollars in our, in fact, that would probably be about 1.3, 1.4 million. And that's Aussie dollars. So for us, we can take 15% off. It's even cheaper. Well, maybe we should be buying a house here. Another one, 839,000. What's this? What's 500,000? It's 539,000. It's a two condo, bed, one bathroom, one car. Looks a dated inside. Yeah. I wonder what condo fees are here mm. on things like that. But, yep. Yeah, doesn't seem too. So now we're on the Pacific. What do they call this, Walter? The Pacific Walk? Uh, well, this one? Yeah. Well, I thought you were said that it was called the Coastal Walk or something. Well, this is called the Coastal Walk. Yeah. Okay, Coastal Walk. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where we're going. This is Hastings River. Oh, okay. Hastings River. All right. Hastings River and the Wilson River. Okay. So we're still on the coastal walk, as you can see, but if you notice these rocks, they've all been uh, painted with people's names on them and sayings and things like that, different colors. Kind of interesting. Kind of livens up the rocks, I guess. They travel all the way down around. Go ahead. What? Oh yeah, you go ahead. Go ahead. That's okay. Yeah, all these little... Uh, cottage like places here we don't know if they're rental or people own them or whatever but they're kind of cute be nice for a little summer getaway or whatever now i'll run down along this side more of the park campground cottage area these are all everybody's campers trailers and everything okay so what you're looking at right now according to walter is the tasman sea just on the other side of this point that we've walked out to. Again, I don't think there's a rock here that hasn't had uh, someone inscribe something on it. There's a few untouched And so, is this the tide coming in at this point today? surfers out there. Jet skiers out here. And here's another shot uh, from the beach side or the coast side of where we're staying. Mm -hmm. 